This is race number 178 and it is on its way to us. Jack Murphy, can he do it from lane five or will Jordan Wood or Callum Dunn get up and give it to him? On the near side, Tom Norton comes away strongly and right alongside Bill Bain at this point. Bill Bain just sitting a little bit adrift of uh, Charlie Copeland who's paddling lane three. Then you come forward just a touch uh, to uh, Jordan Wood and then Jack Murphy. Look at Jack go in lane five. Jack, I think, has blown this one away. And I think Jack Murphy's going to... No, it's not Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy's well back. It's Callum Dunn in lane six that's, uh, that's got this one stitched up. Callum Dunn from lane six. Jack Murphy uh, has uh, got a big job on his hands. He's not going to cut this one. In fact, Jack Murphy's dropped out almost to last. On the far side, we can watch Kurt McAleenan go pretty quickly and get the better of Stephen Gerrard. Stephen Gerrard back a little bit, and so too is uh, Callum is uh, Scott Smith, but Callum Dunn is the man in lane six, and he's going gangbusters out there. He is pointing this ship down towards his finishing line, and now lights up the rating, and rating quite strongly. Let's see what he's up to here. He's rating at 112 strikes a minute. So Callum Dunn in the box seat to take gold in the grand A final of the men's K1, 18 years. Callum Dunn are on the near side, you're watching as lane two, Bill Bain will get the second place. Bill Bain doing a great job, and in fact closing the gap, but as they hit the finishing line, it is indeed Callum Dunn from uh, Charlie Copeland.